Hi, I'm Chef Jennifer Johnson, and last night I told you we would talk about fresh fish tonight. So tonight I've prepared you a couple of different kinds of salmon. Um, the first one is, um, they're both sockeyed salmon, but the first one actually I have taken and I have sauteed in olive oil, shallots, and uh, some garlic, as well I've added some dill, and a little bit of butter, and some uh, preserved lemon. Uh, preserved lemon, you ask, what is that? So I basically take in a five gallon um, container and I put some kosher salt in there and water and for about the next four or five weeks I continue to marinate the lemon so that you can um, completely eat the entire lemon including the skin. And I'll show you in a second or tomorrow what else I use the preserved lemon for. Um, so I take that salmon and I pulled it out of the pan because I want it to look perfect for you and I put it on this plate. It does have the skin still on it. Um, it's perfectly good to eat with the skin. Now for this one, you have a choice. You can put hollandaise sauce on it, pair it with uh, asparagus or whatever you'd like. I specifically prepared it with uh, some garlic aioli. So garlic aioli is uh, some mayonnaise that I make, as well as I have added in some lemon, a lot of garlic, and then as a kind of a little treat, um, in addition to the olive oil, I add a little bit of rosemary, a little diced uh, rosemary. Fresh is better, but sometimes I use um, the uh, dried as well. Anyway, so I can take and I can, I can garnish it with that. I can put it off to the side or I can put it on top, either way, um, or put no sauce on it at all. Either way, that salmon is perfect as it is. So how do you tell if your fish is, is uh, finished or not? So you'll see in this fish that it happens to be uh, flaky. So when you split it apart, it comes apart very easily. Um, I do mine medium rare, so you can see that it still has a little bit of a, has a little bit of a rawness on the inside. And then the other kind of salmon that I made, um, some may consider this a little healthier, however it is about the same, is I take in this tent, you see this uh, aluminum foil tent here, I have taken uh, the same salmon, same cut of salmon. I've added some asparagus to it so that I have some uh, greenery to add to the plate when plating the dish. I'm going to peel off the little slices of lemon that I added and I'm going to add the salmon directly onto the plate. Now for this one I happen to create a um, avocado uh, sauce and the avocado sauce. I don't use any sour cream or, or anything like that. I take uh, plain Greek yogurt and some lime and some smushed avocado. So when just about before your avocado starts to turn brown, you can take and smush it, add it with some lime to keep it nice and green, and then uh, put some uh, sour cream, not sour cream, but uh, yogurt in it. And it, because the yogurt mimics the sour cream, and then you have again a perfect garnish. So you can set it right directly on top like I have done here like I've done here, or you can take and put it off to the side and then you maybe put a smush through it so that it adds a little bit of a plate garnish. Uh, most restaurants you see do everything on a white plate, so it's all about the color and here we have a little bit of color on this plate. This salmon, again, is a little bit um, redder because we did it in a saute style versus baking it in the oven. And it's also a little bit thicker, but again, you can see how it flakes apart. Uh, 350 for about 20 minutes in this little tent, dude. Um, if you want 15 minutes and made a little bit, uh, a little bit less uh, done, then you can do it that way. But anyways, here is uh, fresh, fresh salmon, and tomorrow we're going to discuss um, ahi and uh, cod or sea bass. Talk to you later. Take care and have a great night.